Hello everyone, I'm Mr. Steve Rhodes, as we do each and every Monday at 20 past the hour. And don't forget, folks, Steve does an outstanding show here every trading day, 11 to 12 Eastern Standard Time. Also has a great newsletter, Mastering Probability. Now, it's very easy to get Steve's newsletter, folks. Come over to our website at TFNN. You're going to go to the newsletters. It's on the right-hand side. You just hit that button. You know, off to the races, you can get Mastering Probability for one month for $149. You get a six months for six ninety five, which is a savings of one hundred and ninety nine dollars at twenty two percent, and you get it for one full year for eleven ninety five, which is a savings of five hundred and ninety three dollars, or thirty three percent. And in all these cases, folks, okay, Steve has a huge amount of tools. He brought up some of them last week, so you can see those spreadsheets that get sent out every day. Bottom line, huge amount of information for a very reasonable price. Check it out at TFNN. Steve Rose, what's going on? Only good things are going on. Isn't that's, that beautiful? That's a beautiful thing. Yeah, exactly, exactly. Hey, so I don't know if you had a uh, saw a really interesting moment this weekend. It was during the uh, Little League World Series. Okay. And I don't know if you caught any of that. No, I missed but, it this weekend, but I've been watching it. I can't believe that. Okay, cool. Time. Yeah, yeah. So so cool. So it was the uh, it was the finals. It was yesterday in the finals, and it was the uh, team from Florida and Lake Mary up in Central Florida against uh, Tai um, Taipei. Chinese Taipei. It was Taipei. Okay, cool. Okay. Now you know if I, I've been, uh, my kids were involved with all that stuff, and and so when it comes on, you know, we all watch it. We're sending text messages, yes. stuff like that, to each other, and especially with it being a team in Florida. Right. So typically, um, you know, and these are just twelve-year-old kids. Typically, by the time they get to the final game, it really is all about pitching. And they tip. Most teams don't usually have a ton of pitchers. Okay. You know, a, a good first or second pitcher, but you know, you start going through is only right. maybe thirteen players. Yeah. You know, so when you get to last that last game, it's typically all about uh, offense. Okay. But yesterday, for whatever reason, good pitching staff out there. It uh, Taiwan uh, or not Taiwan? Taipei scored one run, and, and they were the uh, they they opened up the uh, game, and no other scoring, and and the games go six innings, so it gets to the sixth inning. Uh, they're the home team, uh, the uh, Florida team, so they're the last team to bat. They're down 1-0. And the coach of the Florida team, I wasn't really getting a great feel for him. Yeah. thought maybe a little bit too negative. All that changed yesterday. And how that changed was these guys are down 1-0 thinking that they're going to lose. They had left a bunch of man, men stranded on base yes. in the prior innings out there. And he says to them, he says, listen, I didn't tell you this, but on the first day that we were here, a story similar to this. Okay. The first day that we were here, somebody came up behind me. They were saying a prayer for us. He said that guy, and he didn't know who he was, uh, ran into his dad. He didn't even know that it was his dad. He said he told his dad, he said, it's already ordained. That team is going to win. They're going to take it all. So he tells this story to the players, and he says, it's already done. I want you guys to go out there and have fun. Know that it's done. You guys are going to win this thing. It was such a positive message, Unreal. the way that he was saying it. You know, and you've got these 12-year-old kids doubting themselves. Yep. And they go out of that sixth inning, they tie it up. Wow. And they end up, they end up winning in, 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 uh, in extra innings. We don't need to really go into that. But just, oh, just that message. I don't know you too. You know, that's amazing, man. And you know what's amazing? I can't, that, when I was watching it, there was a picture. I think it was from Ty Pei, too. Probably. Turned at 103 miles an hour. Oh, no, those guys were were hurling those balls. 12, uh, 12 years old, man. I know. I, I mean, know. That, yeah. folks, if you hadn't seen it, it's worth pulling up on YouTube or something because, like, I thought I was seeing things, man. <laughs> yeah, yeah, no, it's, uh, yeah. And if you've ever tried to, you know, it's, it's pretty fun every now and then most folks end up getting to a batting machine somewhere. Yes. You know, and you can set the speeds on those things. Yes. And at, yeah. at 90 miles an hour, oh. trying to get the bat around. It's Seriously, it's man. Pretty difficult. Yeah, yeah. yeah exactly. Really exactly. cool. Well, right. Anyway, so you mentioned the newsletter, you know, and I thought yeah. what I'd do here is just show folks just a little bit about what's inside. Yeah, because you have so much great stuff in there, man. It's yeah, huge. So as, a, as an example, when we open up, um, uh, folks know that, uh, you know, we've all, we all used to do the timers. You and I had done the timers right. up until you close it down after 2020. Right and uh, but the the uh, what Timers Digest was tracking was the was the S and P gold and the uh, thirty year Treasury. So yes. I have those signals that show up on the top of my newsletter each and every morning. I this see is it. a snapshot yeah. from that. And then what I've also done because not everybody's following the ES Mini, um, you know. So I put the spy so that they can see yeah. the equivalent of what's on the spy. Yeah. 
and helps them. It helps everybody to understand where's resistance, it where's does. support. You know where we're at. What's down below that is a set of charts. Is a nine panel set of charts out there, and 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 so the opening letter, if you can picture uh, the newsletter, you've got exactly what what the system, my system, is suggesting the market conditions are. Then we have these charts out here, uh, nine different charts. And what I do is I go through each one of them. So in really just a couple minutes of time, uh, in just reading the beginning of that newsletter, you know exactly what's going on with the ES Mini, with the spot volatility, the NASDAQ, the Dow, the Russell 2000, the U.S. dollar index, which, by the way, is going to form a TD nine count bottom pattern today. Okay. Uh, if that takes hold and it starts moving higher, the U.S. dollar index is going to be interesting to see you know, how, how that impacts uh, gold and the markets out there. But we cover gold, silver, copper, oil, natural gas, the 30-year and the 10-year uh, note out there. Um, so that's all covered inside the newsletter right away so you know where things are going. We talked about this last week. Look this, at this is one frame. snapshot for, yep. the, for the, most, the most active instruments that the subscribers of ours, listeners, <coughs> would trade out there. And so this helps understand exactly where the day's support and resistance levels are and so forth. I then go into the uh, international market. So what took place overnight? Uh, because they can, as you would, look, you taught me, what well, you've taught all of us here, so, so many things. But one of the things that you taught us was the correlation between the German DAX yeah. and the NASDAQ. In fact, how did you find that out? How did you? Just, you know, this is one of these things, you know, like, uh, like uh, yeah, I'll tell you what, you taught me the aspect, and we were going through this, and you were always in the office. I, yes. You do so many things so many times, what is 10,000 times, right? And yes, that, yes. And that's how right, I got right. that. I'm the visual deal. That is, you know what I mean? And that's how I got that, seriously. <laughs> and, it's, and it's a great correlation. So it, what's really nice. Particularly because they're already open, which is really cool. Yeah. 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 And so you can see, you know, like last night, the DAX gapped down at the open. Yeah. And then most of the day, it just kept working its way back out there. Yes. Uh, until it had just a slight positive finish. Now, today, we're not seeing that same thing inside the uh, NASDAQ, uh, uh, the NQs out there. Uh, but there's still a directional correlation that helps you more often than it doesn't it help does. you. It does. It um, does. So if we take a look at what's going on around the world right now, the Shanghai's got a, a bottom in there, a Rhodes Metam indicator bottom. The Hang Seng is, is in an A to B equals CD pattern on the upside, about to run into resistance tonight at 17,864. The Nikkei's got a TD9 count top. It should be pulling back. Just helps us understand what's going on inside the markets. I also cover the currency pairs. So those folks that cover the currency pairs, if you look at the bottom right, you'll see that Friday was bar number nine of a TD9 count. Today will complete that pattern. If you look at the uh, euro up in the upper left, it has a TD9 count top. Okay. That took place on, on Friday. So, you know, we know that the because of the weighting inside the euro, uh, that you're typically going to see the same offsetting patterns out there. Yes. So we do have a potential uh, bottom that's uh, uh, inside the dollar tonight. So it'll be interesting to watch that. I cover many commodities. In the soft commodities area, I'm covering wheat, uh, soybeans, corn, coffee, sugar, and uh, cocoa out there. Nice. Um, so, so that's just to give folks a feel for what's going on. Real quickly here, and I listened to your uh, the opening segment. And there's only two indices that do not have a top. And maybe you can discuss this, you know, during okay. the rest of your show. Yes. And that's the Dow. Okay. Now, the Dow today is doing like a double top. Yes. Maybe it's a double top. Yeah. The Russell 2000 today is going to become bar number eight. Okay. The TD9 counts can top on bars eight, nine, or the bar following nine. Otherwise, all the, other than New York Stock issues, all the other U.S. indices are suggesting we have a top. So I'm in total agreement with you that that's what we should be looking for over the next and, couple of years. And, folks, okay, you just saw that if, it's extensive what Steve has. Get over there and get it. That's the bottom line. Steve, Thanks, Tom. Have a great one, a safe one before the show tomorrow. Thanks, Tom. Take care. Stay right there, folks. Come right back.